Greetings survivors, and welcome back to another video. Now, I have noticed a lot of people yeah, commenting on my uh, some on my zombie setup video where I showed what I wear and what and what I carry directly on my person in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that most people say that I have my yeah, body armor ideas but completely backwards and that I should not worry about protecting my torso and focus more on protecting my arms. Yeah, because that's where yeah, I think yeah, where I would be more likely to get attacked. Now, I still agree that yeah, with what I said that it yeah, my arms yeah would should be less of a concern than my torso. Yeah, but I do rec but I did recognize even back then that my arms are yeah going to need to be protected. I just figured yeah that they shouldn't be my primary concern. But since that since then I decided to look into it. And I decided to yeah, come up with a better option for protecting my arms. So, I made these. Homemade bracers. Yeah, they're made of, now, they're made of yeah, multiple layers of duct tape. And I have tested it personally against multiple things, and they stand, hold up pretty well. Now, the string we used to hold them together is paracord. Yeah, you know, which I, you know you could always take out and use as just paracord, but as there's yeah you know, good arm, yeah you know, armor for my arms, it's arm or -er. <laughs> that was a bad pun even by my standards. So give me a, I'm gonna take a second and put these on. Get back to you in a second. And we're back now. Got the bracers on. Now there are some clear problems with them, such as the insides of my arms are pretty undefended, and the cord could be cut, but I don't really think, yeah, but of course, everything has its problems. But this actually does not take away from mobility at all, maybe partially on the, around the wrists, but other than that, it's pretty good, and it just if you adjust it, you have freedom of movement. And, as I've mentioned, this does have de provide decent protection from bludgeoning attacks, and blades to a minor degree, and I've, I've personally test well not really personally, I had someone test it, but it can stand up to biting. So, against a zombie, I don't see, I don't really see you know, this uh, being a bad choice. Of course, it could easily be better. I mean, if I had the tools and materials, I could make some really great ones. If I had to choose a material, I'd say canvas with fiberglass resin, but this is what I got right now. So I wanna hear what you all have to think in the yeah, you know, say in the comments. Yeah, anyways like yeah you know, specifically any problems you see with it or any yeah you know, things you like good things you like to say about them. Now, thank you all for watching this. Yeah, you know, if you want to see more, yeah you know, like this. Yeah. You know, yeah, like this button. Yeah, click the like button. Let me know you enjoyed it. If you want to see, yeah, yeah, be notified whenever I make another video. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you'd like to help out my channel, yeah, share this video with some other people. Thank you all for watching. This is Random Man signing off.